Hi beauties, so today, uh, today is December 2nd as we're filming it. Uh, I don't know what day it's gonna post, but I'm assuming probably pretty close to it because this is a topic that I think everybody likes to talk about. We're gonna do a little get ready with me. I'm not really focused on the makeup. I will say we're gonna be using the Sweetie Pie uh, Hemp Infused uh, Palette from Millennial Beauté. Uh, which I got in my my November Glow Attic box. Really pretty, nice little fall palette. Um, I'm doing this one because I did see Glow Attic spoiler for December, which I'm really excited about. And it uh, includes a palette from, um, another hemp infused palette from Millennial Beauté. And it's like a donut one, like a Christmas themed like donut spice palette or something like that. Cute. But yeah, I figured let's go ahead and use this bad boy. Lots of cool orange uh, and browns and golden shades to, to work with here. I'm not really gonna talk about what I'm doing because I wanna talk about Ipsy today. Um, today, of course, being the second means that Ipsy's customization opened up. I got home from work like I always do. I chose my products and then I went to sleep. Then I looked at my mom's products and what she, I didn't see her, like normally I try and, and be with her while she's choosing her products, but I was doing my base when she did that. So I missed that part, but she walked me kind of through what she was given the options. And then I took a picture of her final bag. And then Drea also sent me her list of choices and what she opted to go with with for each one of them. Um, so I have our three bags to talk about today. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe do so. We're fun. We're, I, it's been a weird couple of weeks, but normally we're pretty consistent on posting and we always talk about subscription box stuff. So if you like that, join our dark angel family. So how did I feel about this bag? One of my least favorites since we've done the change, if I'm being honest. I still think it was well worth my money and I still got products I'm excited about. I just wasn't as enthused with what we were given as I have been um, with some of the other bags. Uh, I actually did not end up with a palette at all. That, well, not true. I ended up with a face palette. I didn't end up with an eyeshadow palette at all, which is this is the first bag that I've gotten no eyeshadow palette. So I was a little little bit um, surprised by that. And the reason that I didn't get one is because the only eyeshadow palette I actually was given the option to choose is one I believe I already have received from Ipsy. So I opted to go uh, with something else for that choice. So did not get an eyeshadow palette. What they chose for me was the IL or the Il, Il Makage, Il Makage. I don't, I, I'm so bad at pronunciation. You guys just gotta bear with me. I try my hardest, but it's never great. So whatever. I got one of their individual shadows, the purple one. Now I could have sworn, I would have put money on the fact that I already had chosen that. I'm talking to my mom. I gotta dig up the one that, cause I have gotten one. I gotta dig up the one that I, uh, my choice for like before, right before, it was right before they switched over to the new plus system. Uh, my mom thinks that she actually got the purple one and I opted to get like a brown or a golden toned one. And when she said that, I was like, you might be right. It's very tricky. Um, Cause when I see products, I sometimes I'm like, I swear I've gotten that. And it's because I've unboxed my mom's and I actually don't own it. Um, it's a terrible first world problem to have, but it does happen. So uh, it is something that I always consider as I'm going through it. So I got that. And then I got a Tula, um, I believe it's a sugar scrub exfoliator. I freaking love Tula. They could have put anything Tula in there and I would have been thrilled. So I was very, very happy with that. The individual eyeshadow, it's a pretty color. Um, if it is the one that my mom got, I remember thinking like I did like it but it's just something that I feel like I'm not gonna use super frequently. So I wasn't thrilled with it, but it wasn't a bad product. My first round choice was great. I had pretty much everything I had to choose from, I really, really liked. Um, I did have the Dominique Cosmetics highlighter, which was gorgeous. I had a really gorgeous um, Ciate London liquid eyeshadow, which you guys know I am in love with liquid eyeshadows. I, I absolutely can never have enough of them. And the Ciate London formula is absolutely one of my favorites. My very first liquid eyeshadow um, was a Ciate London one. In fact, it's in, I keep it in my normal makeup bag, whereas like all my other stuff is kind of like, you know, stored away and I'll just grab them when I want to, but I actually keep my very first Ciate London liquid eyeshadow in the bag just for when I'm trying to go quickly and do a really pretty eyeshadow look. So I was like, oh, that's a good product too. Um, I did get a Complex Culture Duo. Uh, it was a, a bronzer and a blush and it was really pretty. And then I had a LaRousse face set, a brush face set, which I've actually already gotten. So uh, nice brushes. And honestly, you can never have enough brushes, but I already have one. So I was kind of, I was not really thinking about 
that one. And then um, I also got a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette, not the Creme Relay one. It was like a kind of a, I wish I could remember what the name is. If Nikki has the footage of it, you guys can see it. But um, but it was like a mauve -y kind of berry colored one. Really pretty, definitely right up my alley. Um, and I said that, actually, I said that I didn't have the option for eyeshadow palettes. I did, I'm a liar. I did have that one, that was a great one. Unfortunately, it was in a choice bundle that had a lot of things that I wanted and I opted to um, use my strategy of going with the most expensive product, which was the Complex Culture Duo. So I went with that instead. And I actually did in my add-ons have the choice to add that Violet Voss palette in for $12, but I stopped myself because I'm, I, Tangent. I ordered two BoxyCharm uh, pop-up sale things. One of them I ordered November 11th and one of them I ordered like November 25th and neither one of them have shipped. I do know that they sent out an email saying that like things are obviously, this year's been crazy. COVID has made everything a little bit more challenging in terms of shipping and production and all that. Then on top of that, uh, you know, you got influx of holiday buying. So they were like, bear with us. It's gonna take a little bit of time. But the fact that it's been like almost a month on that first order and I still haven't heard anything has kind of concerned me, but that's just something. It, it popped into my brain and then I said it cause that's how my mind works, sorry. That was uh, my first round choice. Really great products for that. Second round, not as great. I had that Shayna B eyeshadow palette that I'm almost positive I have already. Um, I got a, like a setting spray, I think, which was a kind of nice one, but I have a ton of setting sprays. So I was kind of like, whatever. Um, and then I got a, um, like a hairspray that's supposed to like help defrizz your hair and style it, which I really considered getting. My mom actually opted to get that. Um, but I instead went with the second, I got a second Ciate London liquid eyeshadow in this one. The first one was in a pink shade. This one was in a gold shade. I opted to get that one. And I know Drea also wound up getting that one in one of her choice selections as well. Um, my mom doesn't really like liquid eyeshadows and she's not huge on like glitter pigments, which all of the liquid eyeshadows from Ciate London pretty much are. So she did not get one of those. Okay, so let's jump back now and talk about my mom and Drea's bags a little bit. Um, my mom and Drea both ended up getting the IBY palettes. Uh, the, I think it's like the Fireside palette. Really, really pretty. I really liked it. Um, in fact, that was one of the add-ons as well that you could choose to do. And I was like, maybe, but it was on sale for $12 and I realized it's only like a $15 palette normally. And for some reason that just made it seem like less of a good deal. I mean, it's still on sale. It's still cheaper than if you just went and like bought it from them. But I just was kind of like, what? And I, once again, I'm really trying to be good. I'm really trying not to do a ton of add-ons. I'm really trying not to add like a, a whole bunch of stuff on each subscription service I do. And then I'm also waiting on like all this stuff from BoxyCharm and I'm a couple orders from Ulta. So I was like, you know what? No, with the house, no, be good. It did make me kind of hesitate because I was like, oh, that's kind of sad because it's such a pretty palette and you would expect it to be like a little bit more of value. And I don't know why that matters because I have $15 palettes and $10 palettes that are some of my favorite in my collection. It's just one of those things with the subscription box services. It's like you almost just want to see a higher price on it. It sounds so messed up, but it's like the psychology behind it. I, you might be like, wow, you're really like sounding like an a-hole right now. And I'm not trying to, it's just one of those things, whatever. I don't know if anybody else understands it or experiences that as well. It may just be a me thing. It may just be like a character flaw that I have, but it was just one of those things where I was like, wow, it was only a $15 value. That's so weird. Now I, and I say that the Shayna B Cosmetics palettes, those are only like $20 palettes. The Violet Voss one was only an $18 palette. It just seemed to me, maybe this is how I'm trying to say it. It just seemed that the value of the products that they were giving us were not as high as we've seen in the past. And especially closing out the year, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Maybe that's a better way to say it. I don't know if that makes it any better in your guys' opinion or not. That's just kind of the vibe that I got, whatever. Very pretty palette. It was interesting that they chose it for my mom because it's not necessarily something that I would pick for my mom. The colors in it just aren't really her aesthetic. Really pretty, definitely something that I would expect more of myself to receive. I don't know how their, their formula works, but that's how their formula did it this time. So my mom and Drea both got that. I would have been fine getting it, but it was one of those things where once I saw the price of it, I was like, that's odd. Drea got a really pretty Trustique, like berry shade lipstick. I love Trustique. I, I, 
I just love their stuff. I've used a couple lip shades from them. I'm really not like a lipstick person. Like I obviously I wear them and I I'm fine getting some, but I never really like go out of my way to buy them. But Trustique is one of those that I would absolutely buy because it really, they just have a great formula. And I really like like the cray, they're kind of like crayon. And so they're very easy to like keep in the lines. Like if you're not like, I'm not great at lipstick. Like I always feel like it looks messy. So it's, it's one of those that is very easy to like keep from getting everywhere. I really like their stuff. So I like that a lot. My mom got a Wanda Beauty eyeliner and she was kind of like another black eyeliner. And I was like, yeah, that's not great. It's not something I would choose but like we haven't really seen a lot of that this year. Um, I think she's just kind of like, I don't know, like she just never uses eyeliner really. And neither do I. I mean, sometimes I do, but like whatever. So she wasn't thrilled with that, but I did like the IBY palettes that they both got. Uh, my mom for her first choice chose the KMS Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. That was a great choice. I don't know if I saw that in mine. I'm gonna have to go back and look. It might've been one of the options for mine. And I, I don't think so though. I don't remember seeing a lot of great skincare options in my, um, my choice selections. Anyway, she chose that. And um, Drea ended up with the go-to skincare fancy face nourishing oil. Both in my opinion are great. Uh, skincare options there's also they all she also had the the choice of the illness squaw hydra veil primer which i've received i freaking love that primer so that's a good option as well yeah it seems like both it seems like both um dre and my mom had a lot more skincare options didn't feel like it's funny because i had a lot of makeup options but i felt like they were all very similar to each other like i had the shana b eyeshadow pot product uh, or palette in my second round choice and then in the third round choice i had the face palette so it's kind of like hmm, interesting and then the ciate london i had one in my top choice and i had one in my second choice as well so um i felt like that was a little bit interesting too i just i don't know I just felt like it was like very different from what I've seen this year. I could be just not making sense, it's possible. Also just a tangent, I like the, what's going on with the eyeshadow palette. I'm kind of like dilly dallying because I'm talking so much and like looking at eight different things on my phone, but I like what's happening right now. It's pretty, very pretty, very, very fall, obviously. Yeah, so second round I opted to get that Ciate London um, golden eyeshadow color. Uh, and I, I did have the Shayna B and then I had the hair product. My mom opted to get the hair product and I believe Drea got the same Ciate London eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow in that round as well. I know she ended up with it in her bag. I think it was that round. And then my final one, I don't remember anything except for the Shayna B palette. And nothing of, about it stuck out to me. It, there might've been a good product in there, but I really just was looking at everything like, I don't really like whatever I've got going on here. So I went with the Shayna B palette and I'm really hoping that that is the one that I don't have. I know I have one of those palettes. I think it was the eyeshadow that I got, but I cannot be sure. I'm gonna, it's one of those things where like the uh, Il Makage eyeshadow, I'm gonna have to go find that and figure out if it's the same color, it's the same thing. I'm gonna have to go find that palette and figure out if it's the same palette or not. Both my mom and Drea for their final choice chose the Complex Culture Setting Powder. Now that setting powder is really nice. It seems like there's been a lot of Complex Culture stuff that we've seen recently. So I'm guessing that they just like started their collab or, or um, they did like a huge buy from them and purchased like a ton of products. Cause we saw last month, bunch of liquid lipsticks from them, a bunch of different products from them. And now we're seeing kind of more like face products. So yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a weird month. This is how I feel about it. It is still well worth my 25 bucks. No, there's no question to me. I have yet to receive an Ipsy that I haven't felt like was worth my money since they did the change. There was a couple this year that were a little bit rough. Um, a couple like and, and even then people always say like, well, it's still, you still get more than a $25 value. And I know you do, but it's really hard when like, if you, if you spend $25 and you're like hoping to get some like new exciting products and you're con consistently getting um, like black eyeliners and black mascaras and face masks, which pretty much was what was happening for me and mom uh, for a good portion of the time, it just gets a little bit like frustrating because you want you want to you want to get that exciting stuff and you keep hoping it's going to get better and then it doesn't and so with this change i definitely feel like they address a lot of the concerns and the issues a lot of people had about being able to specify more but i do feel like you know they came out really strong with the first few months I really, I was very satisfied with what my choices were. I felt like they were giving me a lot of like eyeshadow options, which is of course what I gravitate towards. And then when I'm not going for like eyeshadows, I really like, you know, 
face colors and, and you know, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of primers and stuff like that, but really like colors is what I'm looking for. And I felt like they were doing a good job with that. And now I'm seeing it kind of start to taper off. And that worries me a little bit, but it's still good. All right, the last thing that I'm going to mention with this is the add-ons. Um, I felt like the add-ons, they had a lot of really great options this time. And like I said, I did not add anything on because I was, I'm was i really trying to be so good with the house and everything. There's so much we need to buy that is not makeup related. So I've been very limited on, you know, any sort of Black Friday shopping that has been makeup centric. That being said, I feel like this was actually one of the add-on sales and I'm not sure if they're doing it because of the holidays or if they just, I'm guessing it's because of the holidays that they went and they said, okay, we'll give you guys a little bit more to choose from because I felt like pretty much all of like the palettes and stuff that I saw, I have the option to go buy in the, um, the, the add-on sale. My Violet Voss one, uh, that one bag, I was so sad that I didn't get the creme brulee palette, which once again, tangent, that's one of the palettes that's coming in my boxy charm pop-up sale. I did end up getting it. I think I paid like six bucks or something for it, maybe maybe 10, it was very cheap. Um, but I did wind up getting it. So that was a small victory there. But I know that my whole, my whole thought process with that particular bag was like, oh, I'm not gonna get the Violet Voss palette because it's not that expensive. So hopefully in the pop-up it'll only be like, 10 or 12 dollars to add it on and then they didn't offer it and i was like i screwed myself i felt like we saw a lot more in this there's a lot of skincare options they had a derma roller which i almost got because mom and i were my mom has one and she loves it and we were just talking about it and i was like i should get one it was only 12 dollars they had a lot of stuff in their add-on sale and i do like that a lot i really think that that's a nice um a nice a nice thing to see because there is this sense of like oh there's so many things in my like like i felt like that with my first round of choices there are so many things in that round that i could have chosen but because they were all bundled together i had to make the choices to which one i liked the best and then the rest of them i was kind of like Meh, about like i liked them but i didn't love them and i was like one or two items that i was maybe going back and forth between so it's it's nice to see that they're um, that they, at least for this this particular month they decided to to give you a good amount of um, options to add on some of the products that you didn't necessarily get to choose because you chose something else. So anyway, what do you guys feel about this month? Did you like it? Do you think I'm being too hard on it? Do you understand where I'm coming from? I always like to see what your feelings were for it. Um, it definitely is, I mean, I mean, it's hands down, I think that the changes Ipsy has made has improved this year. Um, I think that they really did a good job with um, revamping the plus in a way that does give people more autonomy over what they're getting in their boxes and their bags. I mean, there's still limitations, obviously, and we've seen that, but I think it was the right direction for them to make with it. I definitely, I mean, there is a, there's a good, few months where I was considering maybe just eliminating my plus and, and keeping my little bag because I was so disappointed with continuously getting the mascaras, the black eyeliners, the face masks, even brush sets. I was just seeing them so frequently. It was very discouraging. So, so to see this kind of change has been very, very nice. I am excited to see what it's gonna happen with this Glam Bag X. Once again, it's one of those like trial and error things. The first month might be an absolute disaster. We may decide, hey, we don't like it. I predict they normally come out of the gate with a really strong box. So that way people talk about it and they go, oh my God, it was so great. It was like a $400 value, it was a $500 value. We got so many good things. I got like a $60, you know, eye cream and a $100 face cream and like four palettes. They always come out at the, of the gate with something really good. So I think the first two Glampag X's are probably gonna be stronger. And then I think we're gonna kind of see towards the end of the year, like what we're seeing here, cause that's seasonal, the same thing happen. That's just my prediction. That's kind of what happens with all of these companies at some point. Um, I know BoxyCharm, in my opinion, has been incredibly strong this year, minus one or two boxes. But there was a few months last year that I really was disappointed and BoxyCharm was one that I absolutely loved. I got BoxyCharm after having Ipsy and I was like, I don't even want an Ipsy anymore. Um, Cause that was when it was just a little bag and I just was like, the BoxyCharm is it's so much more worth it in my opinion. And then for a really long time, I was very disappointed and I was like, wow, 
wow, this this subscription service that I had loved for so long is now letting me down and that's that's sad as well. So I think they all go through these growing pains of like, how do we keep it new and interesting and, and you know, still pull in new people, but keep the people who've been around excited. So it's, it's I don't at all discount what they're trying to do here. It is very challenging. It's just one of those things like, you know, I think it's gonna take a couple months for us to actually see how Glam Bag X works. Just like I think it's gonna take a couple months to see really how the full effects of this merger between BoxyCharm and Ipsy is gonna come about. I did notice that they have now added the refreshments tab, which is of course that collective box, the lifestyle box that they're doing um, together on Ipsy's page. So I'm interested to see, I will say, I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I am hoping one of the things that comes from this merger is that BoxyCharm's website is going to be a little bit more user-friendly because I think Ipsy has a very strong website and uh, BoxyCharm's always frustrates me. It just, I just, I don't like the way they do their tabs. I don't like the way you gotta find things. You Like to find where your order is, is like hidden and under your account and it's like past orders and then it like, basically show, like we have the year subscription, so it shows that we bought boxes all the way through like December, or not December, October of 2021. So you have to like scroll down until you find them. I wanna see that change, that it will, I'm, I'm hoping for that. Okay, this is the final look, Precious palette. I absolutely, I am in love with it. So cute. Yeah, I've never heard of Millennial Beauté before. I'm a big fan of their product. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see the one for Christmas. Hopefully I'll actually uh, get to get that one up during the, the winter season, during the month of December, instead of like with, where this one came just right after November ended. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really pretty fall palette. It was very blendable, very easy to work with. Super creamy, their glitter pigment really, I use my finger to apply it and it really went on smoothly. So yeah, I love that palette. I know we didn't really discuss it that much or at all really because I was so focused on talking about Ipsy. Um, but yeah, but definitely, I mean, I know you guys always like to talk about your your Ipsies and your, your process as well. So definitely in the comments, let me know about what you felt uh, this month uh, looked like, if you liked it, if you hated it, if you felt indifferent. I just love to see what you guys got and what how you guys felt. So definitely leave us a comment and let us know. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Once again, if you like us and you haven't subscribed, you should do that. You made it this far, might as well, right? Right. All right, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.